you really were on your way. Things really did start to, to happen for you. Tell us about that time and how did you deal with suddenly being written about and flavor of the month? Yeah. It's funny, too, because we, you know, we we're all living in this apartment in Whittier. We all, um, it was a fun time. And then, uh, and I remember my, I had a friend who, who called me and said, hey, this blog wrote about you. Check it out. And none of us had any idea what that was. And we, we looked at it. We're like, oh, this, this, these, these guys wrote about our EP. I don't even know how they got a hold of it or anything. Before we were doing any real touring at all or anything. And then, um, and then we had the idea, like, we should send out our music to these people. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, it was hard copies of you know, music that we took to the post office and sent out all over the country. And the results were immediate. And again, like, that would never, it, it wouldn't even happen the year after it happened. It was, it was like, there was a moment in time where there were, you know, all these, all these people writing about music, all these blogs that were really excited to get some music and really excited to go to the show after getting the music. And it, and it was like, it really happened. A lot happened because of that. Mm -hmm. I have to be honest with you. I was in radio at the time, as I think you know. And um, I discovered you, even though you were 20 miles down the road. I, I was here in Southern California as well. I discovered you because of the blog buzz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that was true of... Uh, a lot of journalists and uh, and radio people. That yeah. was you were probably one of the first buzz bands to gain that kind of attention through through um, through the web. Were you aware of that at the time? I don't think I was aware of it. Were you no, there? I don't think so. I there were like little yeah. little glimmers into it. I remember I was substitute teaching one day in Torrance and and, a, and we were going to go on tour with the band Tapes and Tapes. And there was a kid in the class who was telling me about. Like he knew who Tapes and Tapes was. And then I was kind of embarrassed to say like, you know, we're, we're hey, but he knew who we were because of that. And, and, and I was like, whoa, this is, this is something here. Something's changing here. 